Well, uh, today I'm excited to present to present my work uh, acquiring your town reinforced large language models with retrievers for cross-lingual search generative experience. Well, this research addresses a critical challenge in the digital age, enabling effective cross-lingual information retrieval termed as clear in search engines, which is crucial for uh, global information access. Well, so we first introduce why cross-lingual information retrieval is important. Well, search engines have become indispensable tools for accessing a uh, West re repository of knowledge connecting uh, individuals with an uh, ever expanding digital universe. Well, yet despite their utility, a significant limitation persists within the current landscape of search engines. Their predominant focus on uh, information retrieval within the confines of a single language, with a single of a single language. But this limitation possesses a substantial challenge for users who communicate and seek information in languages other than English. Well, traditional search engines excel in retrieving information for queries made in English. They often fall short when users express their queries in their native languages. This discrepancy underscores a critical deficiency in search engines. Well, the motivation behind our research stems from the recognition of this glaring gap in the accessibility of information across languages. Our uh, researchers build upon the so-called search generative experience. Well, uh, according to Google, the search generative experience is an early step in uh, transforming the search experience with generative AI. So when using the search generative experience, people will notice their search results page with familiar web results and it is organized in a new way to help them get more from a single search. So unlike traditional search engines, which primarily return a list of matching documents, well, the search generative experience, which is also built upon the large language models uh, as LLMs, are capable of directly providing accurate and contextually relevant answers to user queries. But this advancement has uh, significantly improved the user experience, enabling more precise and efficient access to information. Well, so uh, researchers have made efforts to enhance the uh, cross-lingual information retrieval abilities with neural machine translation models or previous cross-lingual representation models. Well, this research in Dover's have undoubtedly contributed to uh, cross-lingual transferability. The practical application of uh, cross-lingual information retrieval remains severely constrained. A pivotal challenge arises when users are presented with retrieved results in languages they do not understand, they do not even comprehend. So to address this issue, existing methods have incorporated a translation model in the post-retrieval phase, aiming to translate the results into the user's native language. So uh, thereby facilitating comprehension. However, the uh, CLIR still introduces the following challenges. Name, well, the first one is the named entity recognition issues, such as some um, proper nouns, especially names of places or people might not translate directly or can get misrepresented. And the second one is the cultural topic context loss. Some terms or concepts are deeply rooted in cultural context and a straightforward translation can lose this context. Uh, so in this research, we try to harness the capabilities of the search generative experience, uh, mostly the ability of the large language models, LRMs, to augment the practicality and the utility of the cross-lingual information retrieval. Well, we do so by combining uh, with the LRMs, we believe after using the LLMs, the SGE or search generative experience can show the following advantages. The well, first it can, uh, since the LLMs have seen numerous named entities across different contexts during the extensive training data. So it can recognize and correctly handle entities 
And the second one is the accommodation of the input context length is usually large, and LLMs can accommodate even longer con input context than previous translation models. So this gives uh, LLMs a broader understanding of the topic and the cultural context. Also in this paper, we introduced a, a multilingual information model for intelligent retrieval. We uh, call it MIMIA, a cutting edge approach that integrates the uh, LLMs into the cross-lingual information retrieval framework to uh, improve the information retrieval across languages. Well, MIMIR comprises two interconnected modules, well, the retriever and the responder. Well, the retriever module tasked with efficiently searching multilingual documents that align with the user's query, but it leverage the power of language models. The retriever can navigate through vast repositories of information to identify relevant documents transcending language barriers and ensuring comprehensive coverage across languages. So the, set, the second part is the responder. The responder module plays a crucial role in providing contextually relevant responses in the user's query language. Unlike traditional post-retrieval translation methods, this time uh, we the responder can directly generate responses aligned with the user's intent. And it uh, just uh, you can just input the user's query and some retrieval the document, and the responder can directly generate responses in the uh, same language as the user preferences. So by harnessing these capabilities of LRMs, the responder ensures that the generated responses maintain linguistic consistency and cultural relevance, enhancing the overall user experience. And the most uh, the most innovative part of MIMIR is we introduce a super a supervised unified training framework. We uh, the retriever can act as a reward model during the responder fine tuning, guiding the generation of language consistent responses. And in reverse, conversely, the responder generates the synthetic queries used to refine the retriever, enabling iterative improvements in both modules. And this, uh, we believe this collaborative training approach can enhance the cross-lingual transferability of MIMIR and ensuring robust uh, performance across diverse linguistic contexts. Uh, and in the following sections, we will uh, introduce some experimental evaluation of MIMIR and demonstrating its effectiveness in the cross-lingual information retrieval. And the results of our uh, experiment, uh, uh, we conducted the uh, experiments on two tasks. Well, the first one is the CREF benchmark, and the second one is the MKQA tasks. Here's a detailed breakdown of our findings. Well, the MIMIR consistently outperformed all baseline models across the seven tested languages showcasing an average improvement of 8.8% in uh, mean average precision and precision at 10. So, uh, well, notably, MIMIR dem demonstrated a substantial performance boost in low resource languages with an improvement of 15.4 over previous baselines. Well, this means the synthetic queries from MIMIR can significantly enhance the retrieval performance. But the uh, uh, MIMIR also excelled in generating accurate answers in multiple languages, surpassing the performance of the post-retrieval translation methods compared to our baselines such as Quora and uh, post-retrieval translation method, MIMIR achieved the highest token uh, overlap record scores across the 10 languages in the MPQA dataset. Well, we also conducted a case studies to highlight MIMIR's advantages. Well, from the uh, results, we have two key observations. Well, the first, in, in case one, well, a Japanese query was correctly translated and understood, while traditional methods misinterpreted it as a generic meat and potato dish. Well, this means MIMIR's extensive training can make it recognize and accurately handle named entities. And in the second one, well, the, uh, our model, the MIMIR, avoid the pitfalls of erroneous context changes seen in baseline methods. It 
it successfully uh, translated the genetic editing uh, entity terms. Well, this means the uh, mimir can understand and preserve the cultural context of the given queries, so it can uh, ensure the users receive information that uh, remains in the same cultural and linguistic context. Well, so in conclusion, Mimir represents us, uh, uh, represents to uh, use search generative experience to provide accurate and contextually relevant responses in the user's language. Well, uh, we believe this can pave the way for more inclusive and effective information retrieval in uh, across the globe. Well, uh, thank you for your attention.